In this lesson, we are going to add PayPal payments. First of all, PayPal has been around for 20 years, and in all this time, they made serious changes to their API. And not only API, actually. And before starting to code, I want to clarify very quickly a few concepts so that everybody will be on the same page. While working with PayPal, you will see many references to so-called IPN, or Instant Payment Notifications. IPN is an ancestor of webhooks. It is an older way to basically do the same thing. In this lesson, I'll use webhooks way, so to speak. Another thing which you will encounter in their documentation is so-called Braintree payments. Braintree used to be the same thing like Stripe is today, payment gateway which works with cards. However, Braintree was acquired by PayPal, so nowadays you can pay using your card via PayPal service. In this lesson, we are going to focus on a classical way to use PayPal. Which means, customers don't need to provide any card details. They will need just to have a PayPal account. Let's start. So this is the web page of PayPal developer and I will log into PayPal developer dashboard. Notice that I am in sandbox. And first thing I will do, here in sandbox I will create an app. And I will name it Video Store Demo. And then I'll take this PayPal client ID and PayPal secret and copy them in my Django settings file. Like this. To be able to create a subscription, we will need to create a product and a plan first. Unfortunately, there's no way to add product and plans via dashboard. The only way to add product and plans is via REST API. That is, we need to write code. Because adding products and plans is one-time operation, I will do it via Django commands. So let's start by adding a Django command. So here in my Django project, folders management commands, I will create a file called PayPal. Here is the skeleton of the command which will create product and plans and list product and plans. At this moment, this command does nothing, it just reads the arguments and logs the operation. My intent is to create a very simple Django command, which I will use like this. After we add code to this command, it will actually create a product via REST API. And afterwards, I will use list command with product option to list the created product or products. And similar way for the plan. The details about product and plan I won't provide them in command line. Instead, I will create two YAML files for that. So here in video store project, I will create a folder called PayPal. And inside this folder, I will create two files. And one named plan. The exact definition of key values required for a product, I take them from PayPal documentation, which is here in developer paypal.com, APIs, catalog products. And here you can see an example of the key value fields required to create a product. A similar situation is with plan.yaml. In subscription section you see plans. And again here you see an example. So here you see product ID, name, description, billing cycles, which are exactly the one that I added here. Before we start doing REST API here, let's take care of the basic logic. So there are two parts. First is create and second is list. And whatever argument is for this create option, I will pass it to an internal function called create. Same thing for list. Let me add these two functions. This product is actually a string here. In a similar fashion, I will define a function called list. And these four functions, which I still need to create, they will use internally REST API. First of all, I will create an empty definition for all these four guys. All these four functions will use REST API. The first two will need to load YAML file first. And the other two will just call REST API on a specific URL. Let's start with simplest first. For REST API calls, I will use official library provided by PayPal. PayPal Python SDK. To be exact, I will use only REST API client provided by this library. I won't use high-level calls like this one here, 
because first of all it's fairly easy to make REST API calls with just basic client available and second this REST API will change very soon because as you can see here the version 2 beta is announced and if I change from master branch to second version beta the changes in API are significant there will be changes even in basic REST API client setup I will stick with current version which is in master branch and to be on the safe side I will use only the minimal part of this PayPal REST SDK that is only the REST API client so first of all I will install PayPal REST SDK and then I will import it here in PayPal command and configure it the mode function which I'll define a little bit later will return a string which, which will be either sandbox or live and now we can add code for list products like this and for listing plans like this to create a product we first need to load its definition from the yaml file and now we can issue an http post request to define the product let me import yaml and define this constant here so first of all I define a base dir and this base directory is defined relative to the current module and the product path will be project directory joined with paypal directory and with the file name product.yaml once we are here let's define a path to plan.yaml similar way is a definition of create plan function and instead of product is plan here and obviously URL is different one and with this current code we are pretty good to create our first product and our first plan so now from command line I will create a product and now let's create a plan and what we'll need from this uh, output is the ID of created plan so I'll copy it and add it to my Django settings file and now we are ready to add code for PayPal based subscriptions but before adding code into the views let's first understand the general picture when we integrated video store service with Stripe we added an upgrade view where user can choose a plan a payment method and if desired a subscription in next step we landed in a view called payment method where in case of Stripe we did preparatory setup and then rendered a view which displayed a card after user entered card details yet another view to control in this last view called card there was a Python API call which handed control to payment gateway in case of PayPal the flow is a little bit different in short we won't need to render any card or button instead we'll do some preparatory code with Python and then from payment method view we will hand control to payment gateway so to speak this preparatory code will create a subscription based on plan ID the plan ID which we created with Django command and then added it in the Django settings and then we will make yet another API call which will handle control to PayPal gateway where user will need to authenticate and approve the subscription last step this one where we will need to update paid until attribute is very similar to the stripe counterpart notice here that we will use webhooks and all the equivalent of webhooks is so called IPN which I won't use in this lesson because PayPal users will need to have their own accounts with PayPal the only way to associate users that paid here in the first part and the, and the webhook part is via PayPal subscription ID so in this part after user created a subscription we will need to save it in user model and then extract it here from webhook request and find associated user model you will see and understand in a couple of minutes what I mean so let's see all this theory in action 
key and payment method view if payment method is PayPal and user choose to have subscription I will create a subscription this code will create a subscription on PayPal side but this subscription will not be active yet to make the subscription active users needs to approve it so in case all went good this post method will return a value with a key status and if status of this request is approval pending it means that on PayPal side the subscription was created and it waits for the user's approval which basically means we are pretty good so far so what I want to do now I want to save the, the returned subscription ID into the current user model like this and then we will need to redirect user to an URL where he or she needs to approve the created subscription this redirect URL will be extract from this return value and now let's take care of details then I need to import PayPal REST SDK and this PayPal module is, is a module which I created for this project and where I add all small utility functions related to PayPal so let me import it here and the definition of this method is this one so to understand what this function does let's have a look at an example of response here is a sample request for billing subscriptions the one that I did here and below is a sample response and first of all you see the status approval pending which we use and, and then this ID which I save it to my user model and this response contains a key called links and this links is an array and the members of this array have rel approve, rel edit and rel sell we need this part the rel approve so that small utility function which I wrote basically looks into this key and finds the member which has this rel approve and returns this URL and this URL returned here is the one here and basically we will redirect user to this URL the one returned here this one so now let's see if code works so far I'm here logged in as user 31 and this time I'll choose PayPal and you see it redirects me to PayPal gateway and the user we need to use here you get it from here PayPal developer dashboard in sandbox accounts so I'll use this one and now I'll agree and subscribe great it worked and you can see here in sandbox API calls that subscription was created and here in notification for this account that I chose you can see that my account received a payment and the other guy sent an automatic payment so now let's take care of second part of this whole payment process create webhooks catch them validate them and inside them update paid until users attribute let's do that in order to create and use a webhook we need a way to access our local run server from outside world in stripe this problem was solved with stripe cli unfortunately paypal doesn't provide us an equivalent fortunately we can use a thing called ngrok or n-g-r-o-k i'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly though so i log in here and then i can connect it to my online account using this command and then I can start it in my command line this way this public link is forwarded to my local app so now if I run my local run server and then access this URL aha uh -huh, it tells me I need to add it to allowed host let me do this quickly for my local development allowed host star it will do pretty fine so now if I access my local app with this URL you can see it here here in video store demo 
add a hook, the URL will be this one plus Great, now we have webhook created. Let's take care of application code. I'll copy this webhook ID in Django settings file, like this. And then I will add a new entry in URL conf of my land app. So we are ready to add PayPal webhooks in land views. Here is a PayPal webhooks which returns 200 OK and it has CSRF exempt decorator. And one thing which you always need to do in a webhooks is to validate it. And validation code for PayPal webhooks is a little bit tricky. So let me show you where you can get a reference to it. Here in PayPal Python SDK, in samples, notification, webhook events, verify webhook events. And this is the function. And this code translated to video store looks like this. And response of this method is true if webhook event was verified and false otherwise. So in case webhook was verified, which means it comes from a valid source like PayPal, then I'll extract the JSON object from request body. And this method is critical. If you don't verify that this webhook event comes from a valid source, means from PayPal, then this function call is a huge security risk. We are interested in payment sale completed events. And in case this event happens, I will call this function. This function is defined in PayPal module of this project, which is this one will contain a billing agreement ID. Billing agreement ID is our subscription ID which was saved earlier in, in our user model. So based on this ID, I'll do two things. First, I'll extract all information about this subscription with this REST API call. And second thing what I'll do, I'll find a user based on this subscription ID which was saved, which was saved earlier. And from this object, which is a JSON representation of uh, current of this user subscription, we will check the amount of the subscription and if this amount equals to this one, and then I will set this user paid until attribute 31 days in the future. The plus days is this little function which returns a future date. Notice that this comparison is string based. So let's check now if this code works. So here I am logged in with user 33. I will choose PayPal. It worked. I just received an incoming po uh, HTTP POST request on PayPal webhooks. And if I'll check now user 33, you can see that its pro account is activated, which means it's paid until attribute was updated, which is pretty cool. And you can see the status of this subscription is active. And last payment was today, May 7th. And the billing, the next payment is on June 7th, 2020. So it worked really well. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.